You want a scoop of ice cream? It's on the house. Take it while you can. Who belongs to this repair Italian soda? Coming right your way. Tubs of taffy, chocolate, and an old-fashioned soda fountain. If you're looking for high fructose fun in Austin, Texas, then step right up to the Big Top Candy Shop. The straight black cherry soda? Uh, we like the cream soda. Cream. All right, that's what I want to hear. Brandon Hodge is the ringmaster of this sugary circus, where young and old, man and woman alike, can buy their favorite candy in bulk. But as we were packing on the pounds, we noticed something odd, something even stranger than the numbers on the scale. At Big Top, we've never been afraid to sort of peel back the, the dark corner of the circus tent. You know, there's always been a, a very dark aspect, a very kind of morbid aspect and fascination with the, the freak shows. Scattered above the shelves, you'll see banners for the Headless Woman, Alligator Girl, a Creepy Mermaid, and others. Brandon's curiosity struck ours, and we just had to know more. I understand all the candy and stuff, but what's with all the bizarre stuff on the wall? Well, we're not afraid to let our freak show flag fly here at Big Top, but if you think this is weird, you haven't seen anything yet. There's another side to Brandon Hodge, one obsessed with the other side. Well, you know, it's the eternal, the eternal question, right? Uh, not only are we alone, but do, do we survive after death? And uh, do, does the soul persist? Ghosts, spirits, souls, whatever you call them, people throughout history have believed they can call us. Just after the Civil War, America latched on to the newest device for such things, the planchette, and Brandon was dying to show off his world-renowned collection. This corner contains the earliest planchettes in, in the collection. It's gonna go uh, right up through the planchette craze of 1868, which is when these planchettes became just the biggest fad in the country. They were like the hula hoop or the yo-yo. This is a great example of one here. This is a JW Pitcher uh, planchette. You see it's got the, the great label on it, the brass wheels, the little bone casters. You can just see this evolution of forms with the different shapes and sizes. Uh, the Wanda tipping table, another popular item here in the collection. Think of the planchette as a freehand Ouija board. Everyone rests their hands on it, and then it rolls around a sheet of paper writing out messages. Brandon has spent years tracking down the best examples left of this century and a half old fad. I just kind of want to bring them, bring them back to the fore and show people that, that, that they were a thing and that they really have a fascinating history of, they're just a, a, a really fascinating piece of Americana. Now what about this one because it's got some nice jewels? Yeah, that one, uh, the new addition to the collection, it's, it's been here uh, maybe a week. It came out of the UK out of a jeweler's estate. You'll see it's a primitive battery. It's got a copper strip and a nickel strip. So the idea would be that you would charge this device uh, by placing your hands on it, getting it ready for use. So you believe it? Well, I believe it exists. I'm, I'm skeptical by nature uh, with these devices. I believe I attributed their action to idiomotor response, and that is, you know, unconscious, subconscious muscular movement. Even then, to me, that's absolutely fascinating. The fact that our brains can work together on that unconscious level to collaboratively tell some story of some claimed spirit is pretty darn miraculous in itself and, and, and never ceases to amaze me. Okay, so Brandon Hodge's interest is more psychological and historical, but for this self-avowed skeptic, his planchette collection does have unexpected power. It turns out when you become the sole authority on a device that sharing that knowledge sort of becomes its own entity. It's a full-time job sometimes. I've traveled literally all over the world, and it's been incredibly humbling and, and satisfying to be able to do so. 
I think it's important to preserve these things, as obscure and unusual as they may be.